to all the girls whose stories are in this book. Thank you for being leaders. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for being bold. We are grateful and inspired. And, are you ready? To all the leaders yet to come, big or little, I cannot wait to hear your stories. Hi, it's Mrs. Hot from the Morgan County Partnership, and I'm here with you today to celebrate Black History Month. And for this time, we're going to continue with our Tuesday series on race and diversity with a book called Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History. I'm really excited to introduce you to girls from our past who struggled, who were different, they were unique, and they were wonderfully made. And they were able to find their strength and do some really cool things. Are you ready? Let's get started. Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History, written by Vashti Harrison. Let's listen to what she says about this book. This book grew out of a project I began during Black History Month. It started as a drawing challenge to myself to illustrate one African American from history every day for the month of February and post the finished image to social media with a brief summary of the woman's accomplishments. As I researched and read amazing stories of women, both known and unknown, I was surprised to be moved so deeply. As a black woman, I have studied the history of my people, but never have I felt this connected to the beauty and the passion behind their boldness. Whether they were fighting for their families or for social justice, or daring to become an artist or an astronaut, each one of these women broke barriers for those who came after her. That's you and that's me, right? And they use their differences to be bold and to be leaders. We can do that too. Let's listen. In a society where being black and female meant being an outsider or sometimes even invisible, these women who dared to go after what they wanted to demand what they deserved some of them were reluctant leaders, while others were not even conscious of their bravery. But their legacies live on to prove the way for more of us to follow. Many of them didn't set out to be pioneers, but all of them were, and we can look to each one of them for inspiration. And that's why Mrs. Hot wants to share their stories for you, okay? We want to look to them for inspiration on how we can too overcome our struggles and look for others who have the same hardships we do and be able to overcome them, who look like us or who are different than us and realize as we come together, we can be positive. Let's keep looking. I wanted to tell you, this is from Vashti Harrison, she wanted to tell you all their stories together to celebrate not only their collective contribution to history, but also their diversity. Some of them you will recognize, such as Harriet Tubman and Rosa Parks, but you'll also meet less famous figures, such as Alice Ball and Mary Bowser. You'll meet scientists, politicians, doctors, painters, sculptors, dancers, and they are all black women. This in no way means that this book is only for black girls or boys. I hope readers of every background find these stories compelling and inspiring, but I did create it with them, my younger self, in mind. I think about what kinds of dreams I might have if I had known all about these women when I was growing up, if I had known that so many people who, liked me, who looked like me and had done such incredible things were able to. To be able to see yourself in someone else's story can be life changing. Let me read that again. To able to see yourself in someone else's story can be life changing. To know that a goal is achievable can be empowering, empowering. I hope that anyone who reads these biographies, whether or not they look like these little leaders, is inspired to go after the things that they are passionate about. Oh, it gives me goosebumps. 
This collection includes only a handful of the countless bold black women who have done extraordinary things and lived incredible lives. With these mini biographies, I hope to spark your interest and encourage you to find out more about them and the women who have followed in their footsteps. It could be you. The Little Leaders are here to guide you on this journey through history. I originally envisioned them as little girls serving as stand-ins for these famous women. That's why they're little. But as I've started sending them out, out into the world, they've become bigger than I could imagine. I designed them to be interchangeable because I want you, the reader, to see yourself in any one of them and to feel their strength and their possibility in you. With every turn of the page, you'll discover a new bold woman who changed history. Let them inspire your future too. Are you ready? Are you ready, Positive Actions? Let's take a look at some of these. Mrs. Hot wants to share them with you and celebrate these women. And maybe, just maybe, one of you out there will find something similar to what they're going through, or to how they look, or what they're living, and you'll find your path too. Are you ready? Our next little leader is Mary Eliza Mahoney. Mary grew up before the American Civil War as a free woman in Massachusetts. Though as a black woman, her career options were limited. Mary knew that she wanted to be a nurse. When she was 18 years old, she started working at the New England Hospital for Women and Children, but she wasn't, but she wasn't saving lives yet. She had to work as a cook and a scrubber. Although Massachusetts was a leading state in the anti-slavery movement, discrimination and segregation were still a way of life. The hospital, however, prided itself on the fact that it treated both black and white patients. It also had a nursing program that admitted one black student and one Jewish student per year. They considered this quite progressive back then. Mary worked on the hospital staff for 15 years before being admitted into the nursing program in 1878 at the age of 33. That year, 42 students were accepted, but only four graduated, and Mary was one of them. As a private nurse, Mary had an incredible reputation as being patient and skillful. She traveled around the East Coast and her work helped challenge racism in the South. She was soon inducted into the American Nurses Association. In 1908, she helped support the founding of the National Association of Colored Graduate Nurses, which later named a major award in her honor. Mary's nursing career lasted for 43 years. She was recognized as a pioneer and in 1976 was inducted into the ANA Nurses Hall of Fame. Wow. Her old hospital, the New England Hospital for Women and Children, renamed the Domic Center in 2007. Well, it features a new healthcare facility named after her, the Mary Mahoney Center. And that's pretty cool. I find that remarkable that my grandparents were alive when she was starting her nursing career. Think about that. 